Now, don't push it. I mean, the idea is not to do more than three, maybe four miles a day. I'm talking about just basic conditioning, right? I mean, not being macho man on the jogging track. <laughs> I'll see you when we scrub. Doctor, Mrs. Evers nearly did one of the student nurses in. <laughs> <laughs> well, she is one terrific lady. Now, um, I prescribe for you, not her, one coffee break, which comes in 30 seconds. Not for a nurse who just came on shift? Oh, Mary, this is the fifth turn down in two weeks. It's just coffee. Uh, I think I'd better go see Miss Sanchez, Doctor. <clears throat> Look, if I call you Mary, why don't you call me John? Doctor, uh, John, you're a very attractive man. And I'm sure that there are any number of clear-eyed, long-legged, sweet-natured young things who'd be very happy to... Hold it, hold it. Do I have a choice in the matter? I mean, can't I choose whom to have coffee with, or anything else for that matter? Or is there some fixed set of rules? Mary, I like your style. It's as simple as that. I just wish you liked mine. I do, actually. But... Ah, the big but. Would you look at that? Uh, I didn't know you ran in the park. I don't, usually. How, uh, how far do you run? Oh, block, block and a half. Is your first time? Uh, no, it isn't. Uh, I, I ran once about five years ago. You look real good. Uh. Well, I like you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, me too. Yes, I'll see you at Grant later. Perhaps as old jogging buddies, we can discuss orthotics or pick up a coffee. Not impossible. When she pinches, her fingers meet. <laughs> Tony, Mrs. Samuels needs her sponge bath, has needed it for 20 minutes now. Sorry. Hello again. Hello. You know, there's this look about you that is so beautiful. Please. Right, right. Not the right place. Okay. I'll save it. What do you say we have dinner tonight? Dr. Benson? Mary? Well, what do you say? Dinner? Uh, I'm sorry. I, I can't tonight. I'm busy. Oh. I see. Well, I guess we'll just have to discuss orthotics another time. Did you see that visitor Mrs. Evers had? Uh, a reservation for Belson, 8 o'clock? Yes, uh, your table will be ready in about five minutes. Thank you. Uh, has Mrs. Belson arrived yet? I don't believe so, but you might want to wait at the bar. Thank you. You shouldn't be sitting here all alone. I'm not alone. I'm waiting for someone. Aren't we all? Got it now. Didn't, didn't I see you in here last week? I wasn't in here last week or any week. Hey, I, I'm I, I'm sorry. I, I, I didn't mean to uh, come on that strong. Uh, look, I, I, I didn't mean anything by it. It's okay. But I really am waiting for someone. So, while you're waiting, let's uh, have a drink. Uh, barkeep. No, thank you. Come on, what, what do you say? I don't want to. 
Okay. Uh, maybe we can just talk. Uh, go someplace Wait, else. Would you just leave me alone? I'm not here looking for a date. What's the problem? Nothing. No problem. I'm fine, really. I think the lady would like to be alone. Well, you said you were busy tonight. That's not a very impressive guy to be busy with. I mean, that's a biased judgment, of course. I'm not here to be with him. Well, let's see who else is around. I think you are rude and insulting. I'm hurt. I'm sorry. Mary, I've been asking you out for weeks. You encourage me, and then you keep turning me down. I want to know why. I don't know. Do you think you could be a little more noncommittal? What is it? What are you so frightened of? I mean, I'm not an ex-con. I'm not some bum off the street. It's not you, it's me. Is it really a criminal offense when two people are attracted to each other? What are you doing here? I followed you. I'm masochistic. Look, we have to talk. Not now. Yes, right now. All right. Look, I just can't figure you out. I never know how you're going to act. You're right. You know, this morning in the park, I said, hey, look at that. She's not repressing, she's not guarded, there's even a twinkle in her eye. And then tonight... Did you have a good dinner conversation? What? Oh, her. The tall, thin one, yes. Well, she's very sweet, but she talks about clothes and roller disco as if they were Marx and Freud. Look, I know you don't believe this, but I'd rather sit down over a bottle of wine with you. You would? Oh, why am I having this conversation? Uh, I guess it's... It's just my background, my upbringing. And my age, right? No. My age. I knew it. That's it. That's the whole problem. No, it's not the whole problem. My, my husband worked here. People remember him. And, and you and I have to work here together every day. I, I guess I just care what people think. Hey, wait a minute. So do I. It's one of the things I like about you, you know. You're thoughtful. And you're bright. And attractive. And fun. You know, I, uh... I never wanted to make trouble for you. I just wanted to have dinner. Honestly. I feel foolish. Good. Maybe I'm getting somewhere. <laughs> Good night. I, uh, I think you've gone just a little bit public. <laughs> alert to eight cup. Code blue alert. Switch. Give me 500 cc's. Light again. Two, three, four, five. Come on, Sarah, don't leave me. Sarah? Sarah? Read the coffee cup. She's such an extraordinary woman. She believes in life with so much force. I know. Sarah. Okay, Sarah. What was that? Is that dinner invitation still good? Um, would tonight be rushing it? <laughs> 